Thank you, Speaker. It's an honour to stand in this House today to recognize Pride Month. The need to end homophobia, transphobia, transmisogyny and other forms of bigotry and discrimination is as important as ever. The Ontario NDP has a long history of fighting alongside the LGBTQ community. We have achieved equal parenting rights, a province-wide ban on conversion therapy, as well as ensuring protections for trans and gender diverse people are reflected in the Ontario Human Rights Code. I am glad that people across Ontario spoke up about the repeal of the 2015 Health and Phys Ed curriculum, what some people refer to as the sex ed curriculum. We now have a curriculum which includes LGBTQ families and individuals so students see themselves reflected in their education. Delaying gender expression until grade 8 is a huge mistake, but I'm glad we are still not using the anachronistic 1998 version. As true progressives, the NDP realizes much work needs to be done. LGBTQ folks face challenges accessing health care that is affirming, friendly, and competent. Too many LGBTQ seniors enter long-term care environments where they're forced back into the closet. It's unfair that these champions of human rights and human dignity encounter living situations where they don't feel safe to be their authentic selves. Other NDP measures to support LGBTQ folks include Pharmacare for All, access to PrEP, and gender-affirming transition medication and therapies. Pride will be very different this year, and I commend queer events, regional HIV AIDS connection, PFLAG chapters, QP Ontario, Glad Day, and the 519 for reaching out virtually to support the community at this time. We look forward to celebrating Pride in person in years to come. Happy Pride, everyone.